Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm so sorry that I'm filming on this vertical. Actually, I'm gonna try to make you straight. I've been blowing my nose, it's all red. Um, I have clothes to try on for you and I've had them in my possession for a couple weeks and I just wanted to get this out there and I'm struggling getting my Canon 90D to fit in this room. I don't know, it's hard to see my whole outfit with that. I'm gonna have to figure out the lens. So bear with me, I apologize that it's not full screen but I have a lot of nice clothes to show you. I have clothes from Aritzia and from The Gap and I need your help. I don't really want to keep all of them, but they all kind of worked out. So I'd like your opinion. And as always, the links are going to be linked in my description box for you. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, and I'm dipping into fashion. I'm 52 years old. I am 5'6". I'm either a size 10 or a size 8. And I have a pair of size 6s there, but that's very unusual for me. I'm either a large or a medium in the top. And I will put my statistics down in the description box for you so that you can get a better idea of what you are, like your shape is compared to me. So you can get a better idea of how these clothes would fit on you. And yeah, that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I love these. I have worn them so many times. They're kind of like joggers a little bit. Let me step back for you. Hold on a second. Is that better? Yay. Actually, I think that works. So what are these? I don't know if you can see the material of this, but they are super soft. They have pockets that I could open up, but I'm not gonna do that. I got this top from Aritzia too. And let me put some shoes on with this. Okay. These are the Sorrells that I showed in my last video. Oh my gosh, did I not take the tag off of these? Oh no, I don't have the tags off the Sorrell boots. Hold on a second. Okay. I have these in a size eight no i believe these are in a size six they run big they're stretchy guys even though they're high-waisted they don't cut me off when i sit down and they have a double clasp here and this top is also extremely comfortable really really nice and soft did i try this on with anything else i should try this one on i ordered this from the gap it is a cardigan simple black cardigan and I tried it on and I kind of thought maybe it was too big, but this isn't bad because this is fitted and it doesn't make me look like bigger than I am. Huh, maybe I will keep this then. I think this is the cash soft line that the Gap has. Let me look. It's in a size medium. I believe this was on sale for 40% off. I mean, we can always use a black cardigan, right? Kind of looks cute. Hmm, yeah, okay. Since we're on the Gap, oh no, this is, oh yeah. This is from Aritzia too. I don't think I should try it on with this though. Hold on. Right, and I got this sweater as well from Aritzia. And it again, really isn't what I'm used to. I'm not sure. I definitely feel like I have to wear this sweater with something fitted because it can tend to make me look rounder. And I think that's the key. So wearing something bigger like this definitely needs something more fitted underneath so people can see that you have a bit of shape. Not that people matter. Okay, I also got this skirt from The Gap. And I have it in white as well. I wore the white the other night. Kind of felt like it made me look wider. I'll try it on for you in a second but it's really cute and you could wear this with sneakers or boots. I did wear it with boots the other night and maybe that's why I felt a little off because the boots I wore were tall and I think I need to show a little bit more shape down here. What would happen if it was with a boot? Hmm. By the way, it's really comfortable. Okay. So this is the cream. I think I really like this with something tucked in. I didn't wear it the other night with a tuck in top. I wore it with a sweater and I think it makes a big difference when I have a fitted top. It makes me look, you know, a little bit better, I think. Help me with the shoes though, guys. Should I get a, a heel, a boot, a sneaker? Don't know. 
So there's this. Yeah, I had to get this. This is so pretty. Did I tie it up in the right way? Should it be the back or the front? Hold on. It's a little booby, but I was thinking some fashion tape just to hold it together or a uh, camisole of something or a tube top here. There are my dogs. I actually like this top with this skirt because again, it's fitted. Shows my waist. Right, so should this be tied to the side or here? I feel like here. I guess it really doesn't matter. This feels like such good quality, you guys. And yeah, I would pin this or use the fashion tape probably. That's what I would do. I feel like a heel would be nice. This is a dress or it could be worn over tights. I have the Spanx tights. They're, those last me forever. I got those, I don't know how many years ago. They just never die. That's pretty. Okay, let me get this thing off. A black bra would be good. Oh, it's got a slip. <laughs> I couldn't find the zipper. Okay. Yeah, this is so cute, guys. My foot is so wide and I don't feel good walking in high heels anymore, but I wish I had a nice pair of closed toe shoes. These were for the summer and they do fit nice, but I feel like for this time of year, it should be a closed toe shoe. These are okay. They're leather, so if I wear them enough, they're gonna stretch out too. Again, it feels like such good quality. Are you guys crooked? I hope not. And excuse my hair. Silver, I think silver would look good with this, right? Or gold. Oh, well, these aren't bad. Okay, what do we think of this? Is that too low? No, not bad. Oh, guys, I kind of like this. Is it itchy or is that, a, that's a tag. So these pants are from The Gap and they're stretchy. They're really thin corduroy and they are a lot more comfortable than I thought they'd be. I might get too hot in a turtleneck, but maybe since my arms are free, I'd be okay. Definitely keeping these boots. They were pricey, but they are leather and they're very comfortable. This is a sweater from Aritzia that I'm not sure about. I kind of feel like it doesn't do anything for me. Let me try this on with another pair of pants. Okay, these are from The Gap and they're called the Loose Khakis, I think, but they're in black. If I can get it on, hold on. They are high rise for sure. Also comfortable. What if I tuck it a little bit? I think it just depends on what I wear it with. I think I do like it a little bit tucked. For reference guys, I am typically a size eight or a size 10. I am a size eight right now. The white cords were a size 30, I believe. Yeah, they're a size 30, which says a size 10 regular. Is a 30 inch waist a size 10? I thought a 31 waist was a size 10. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I don't care but it's very confusing. And that's what the pants look like with the boots. See, ah, I kind of like that. So the white matches the white. That kind of looks cool. How long will it take for me to get makeup on this top, you ask? Mm, two seconds. Yep, that'll be me. I do believe I will send these back. I used to wear these in the 90s. I was a hairstylist, I remember wearing these to work. And I think I bought them at Le Chateau here in Canada. These are the, look at me remembering to tell you what they are. Forget it, I can't find it. Does it say, where's the label? Carpenter pant. Okay, just a second. I feel like I'm trying to look young, but maybe not. They're so comfortable though, guys. If you like this style, they are a little bit big. I will say that this material feels like it's gonna pick up every ounce of lint. So if you have animals, if you have cats or dogs that shed, I feel like this might grab it. You just need a lint brush. Do I have anything else? I feel like I'm missing something. Yes, I am. Okay, I got this from The Gap as well. Really more so to wear it under things, like a blazer or something and probably not with these pants. Right, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. This is a blazer sweater. 
from The Gap. Also on sale, I had my daughter and my, hold on. Oh my gosh, should I just take it down? So I had my daughter and my son's girlfriend try this on and it looked kind of sloppy on them. So I already know I probably am not gonna like this. It's like a, it's almost like a grandpa sweater. Oh my God, do I like this too? What? I don't know, I kind of, hang on. I need some kind of jewelry, gold or silver, I don't know, but something to make it look a bit more feminine. Mom and I got this at the Bay not long ago. Well, actually a while ago, come to think of it. And I don't wear it very often. But maybe this would be a good one. Untangle you. You can do it. Is that too much? I see everybody wearing it like this and I'm like, that's so pretty. I don't know about this top. I feel like I kind of like it now. Let me try it on with the white pants. Maybe I'll see the shape a little bit better. Well, it's kind of cute. Guys, I can't keep all of this, so you have to help me. I'm actually shocked about this one. And it's weighty, so it lays nice. My daughter and my son's girlfriend are just different shapes, that's all. So it all just depends on your shape. Okay, one more top. Oh my God, I can't believe I got through it all. So I purchased this in a large, this is from The Gap, and it's an oversized, and I think if I had gotten it in the medium, I would like it. But I feel like a large, and since it was already oversized, that it's just a little bit too oversized for my liking. Yeah, I feel like a size down to me would be a little bit more comfortable and it would still be roomy but it's very comfortable, extremely soft. I think it's 100% cotton, that's why I wanted it, because it gets so hot. But I feel like it makes my shoulders look much broader than they are. Maybe when I look back at the video, I won't think that way. Anyway, so I know I'm returning this or exchanging it for a smaller size. Everything will be linked down below. I do get a small commission for those that buy from those links. It helps me out so much and it doesn't cost you anything to use them. So if you do intend to buy them, I'm so grateful if you use them. No pressure, of course. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.